Mark Selby today. Mark Selby gets the second frame underway, and we mentioned it early on that there is a lot of movement with Mark. We saw it distinctly there when he was queuing up and he was breaking off. Just have a look at the movement. But he seems to get everything set, ready for the shot. Chose to play the more attacking way, played for the black. It was a long way off. Erred on the slight side of safety by not coming off the cushion far enough for an easy black. So he didn't leave the red. It's just next to the black. No, where's this red going? not being left and I don't think there's any way that Stephen well he could play the pot on the red near the right middle and try and screw back to Bok or there is a red just sticking out from that main bunch that would cut into the left corner but it's this red but as long as he gets near the jaws of the pocket the red should run safe to screw back a bit further than that and I'm sure that was his intention he's left the red on here Stephen can get to the the reds on the right hand side of the table and that is a good target that yellow green and brown there you can get that cue ball near that ball cushion that's pretty good he's not made it well he's covered the path down the right hand side of the table somewhat and the left hand side of the table is quite congested so that little shake of the head tells you Mark Selby not happy with the return to Bort so just coming off the side cushion to nestle into the, the main bunch and misjudge this hit the pink oh, and a miss Stephen Lee six yeah. See Mark just, he's, he's left his cue there on the table, just wants to make sure the referee puts the white in exactly the same place. Just so he knows where to aim in the cushions. It might just be a millimetre yep. further down the right of the cushion. Oh, I miss. Well I have to say, for someone of Mark Selby's class, that is... Four. Two attempts. And he'll be warned here because he can hit reds on either side. I'm going to have to warn you, Mark, all right? Yeah, you know the rule, yeah? If he doesn't hit one this time, he forfeits the frame. It's as simple as that. went for a red that he didn't want to play and he's been very fortunate. That's what you call world number one luck. Yeah. As I say, he was, and he, he, he was forced into playing the red because we said if he didn't hit a red he'd forfeit the frame so he's played a shot that he didn't want to play. But look what happened. 
Flicked off a second red, knocked the black safe. Didn't leave a pot on for his opponent. World number one form. They've all had it. Well, Stephen felt he could clip that one in, but no such luck for Stephen. He misses the red, but leaves one. Well, sorry, sir. That was a surprise. I just caught the wide jaw. Just a bit disappointed. Was the red over the? far left corner, but he'd like to keep that in reserve. One. Well, surely he's not covered himself on the blue. If he has, he's on nothing. Surely not. Well, looking at his face, he probably has. That's amazing. <clears throat> You couldn't imagine that happening in a month of Sundays. I mean, you could say it's a bit careless, but in all honesty, the, the odds of that happening, he could play that a thousand times and that wouldn't happen. So I think all you can do here is just, well, I, I'm saying just cover the path to the, the red over the corner, but... It wouldn't be that difficult to come off the side cushion and possibly pot it. But what else can he do? Green ball. Stephen Lee one. Well, if he's cut off the one cushion escape, which he may have done by getting very tight to the green, that is a very good shot. And the fact that Mark is not playing off the right-hand side cushion across the table. He has got tight enough to the green to cover the one cushion escape. So, considering his annoyance and frustration, that was an excellent shot from Stephen Lee. Foul. Either that pink's a lot bigger than the other ball. Stephen Lee. <laughs> it's like a magnet. That's four shots, four escapes from snookers from that right-hand side cushion. And all four by both players have been, uh, well, played pretty poorly. <clears throat> That's a poor shot. One. They're never guaranteed to get a nice position when the red is so far into the pockets, the jaws of the pocket, but you had a lot of uh, margin for error there. Stephen Lee what? Yeah, it's all bits and pieces. Who was that? Oh, the Dave Clark five, wasn't it? For your time, eh, Steve? Much too thin. And I think this red closest to the left corner, well, well, he's not even looking at it. I thought it would cut in. Maybe he's hampered by the blue. Or maybe he just thinks that the safety is a lot easier and he could get him, his opponent in trouble. But he hasn't. That's not good.